This, this right here, this is the tragedy beyond comprehension. A country's number one asset is its people, its culture. And the fact that 56% of people just don't want to have kids, that's a national crisis. And contrary to what the far right might argue, we're not going to fix this problem by force. We need a cultural shift to where people who have great families, raise great kids, and love doing it, those people are the heroes of society, not these boss babes, strong, independent women who say they don't need no man, don't want a husband or family or kids. Things like that should be given no attention, and we should glorify people who have strong families, who have a lot of kids, who raise them all to be great people. Those are the real national heroes, not these people who are glorifying the strong, independent woman, single life. That is enemy number one right there, that mindset. Get that out of popular culture. And hey, it's not all on them. It's a sales pitch because... The way our government's been run the last seven years has been a disaster, and it's put us in this position where two people in households have to work. Very undesirable lifestyle for a lot of people. You don't want to have kids, barely get by, not even be able to raise them, and, and then have them be indoctrinated by the place you send them off to because, in addition, it costs like $60,000 a year for childcare. So on top of getting financially bent over, your kids are going to be getting indoctrinated and then telling you how you're a bad person because you're not socialist enough because they're being raised by people who bought the sales pitch of being a strong, independent woman, don't need no man, but at their core, they want to have a child. They want to be a mother, but they bought the sales pitch of society. So to fill that void, they're either a teacher or a child care taker or a child care attendee or a babysitter. And they're pumping these kids' heads full of crap. Remember, the most valuable asset of a society is its people. And America tragically went a long time without acting that way until Donald Trump came along, putting American people as number one priority. Not illegal immigrants, not foreign nations who are fighting wars that have nothing to do with us. That is not putting your people first to give taxpayer money to illegal immigrants who come across the country illegally, not to give billions of dollars to some foreign country who is fighting war that has nothing to do with America. That's not putting your people first, it's putting your people last. No wonder 56% of people in America don't want to have kids, but this, this right here, not sustainable. Priority number one, change the cultural mindset around having kids. You know, Hollywood has all these requirements. You need at least one gay person, one black person, one lesbian, one trans, this, this, and that. You have to have a weak man in the movie. These are literal guidelines to win a Academy Award. You have to have somebody to represent all the demographics. But screw all that. Glorify the things that we need. Make the right heroes. Glorify the family. Glorify the a family that has six, seven, eight kids who's crushing it, who where the father makes enough money, where the wife doesn't have to work, where she just worry about making sure those kids are being raised well and are going to crush it when they grow up. We don't need movies about lesbian rights or trans rights or gay this and gay that. Whatever, do your thing. Free country, right? We all love that. But we do not need to make those people the heroes. We need to make the right heroes. And the hero that we need to build up is the nuclear family, a strong family, a well-off family where... We could have one person supporting the household, the other parent as the one developing the household, developing the kids. That is what we should be pushing everybody to aspire towards. Sell them on that dream. And please, for all of you who disagree, let me know in the comment section. Would love to hear your counterpoint to that. Now, for those of you who do agree with me, I encourage you to check out my Patreon because I'm going to be doing a deep dive into the history of the hero making machine and how American propaganda at one point in time was highlighting the right heroes. And then there's a swift turn to highlighting the exact wrong heroes in society. That and many other things. The Forbidden Book Society Patreon. Click on the link below and I will see you there.